Oh, wait, I'm actually in this one. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. Well met, lords and ladies. Jake the Potter speaking. Uh, welcome back to an episode of the thing you're watching. I don't have a pause this time because there's no intro and there's no there's there's, there's no uh, thumbnail card either because I haven't made the thumbnail yet because this is once again pre-recorded. I'm just going to say before I forget to say it later on, if you want to see the pre-recorded videos for February, then you are able to do so by getting the YouTube memberships. Uh, they finally actually serve a purpose. And it was kind of to remind me of that as well. You know, join host is not so lonely. There you are. <laughs> Please, I'm so scared. It's scary down here in the basement by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, please. Yes, yeah. jo join join the basement. Newly refurbished. Okay. Hashtag basement club. Basement club. <laughs> please. The fact is, if I we could. We don't get another new member. He's just gonna feed me the Jacob crackers for another week. The fact is, I can actually, I can actually change the name of the membership tier to basement club, and no one will question it. <laughs> Uh, My right fan statement's gonna look really weird. We need more <laughs> <basement> <laughs> members. Your membership to basement club. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh that's my! Really <laughs> it sure is. I haven't even said what we're reviewing today. We're reviewing Workhorse, uh, Workhorse Two. That is to say, yeah, the sequel, the, the sequel to the uh to, to the viral cessation of the star stable online community created by alexandra pandanite and uh edited partially by our very own kw who is yes! has said already that she's in this <laughs> yes you can actually literally see me in the thumbnail <laughs> literally ah okay so whenever the thumbnail gets made I see, you know, you know what? Whenever I make the thumbnail, I've got to remind myself to like circle it and then just like you know <laughs> point to your character or something like that. No! I might even, I might even I put me in the thumbnail. It might just be you. Yeah, it might it might just be you pointing where you are, like the like Leonardo DiCaprio style. Da, da, there is happening again. Exactly. Yeah. You know what? I'll, if I remember that, I'll do. I'll I'll I'll, I'll do that. There, uh, there okay. I am. Mm hmm Okay, so yeah, so <laughs> you've uh, briefly talked about your role before in this. Yes. And uh yeah, so I guess I guess we'll just go ahead and see because uh Oh my yeah, god, there is um... me Selena Longfoot there's... Yeah, <laughs> Selena Longfoot Snowflake Tigers. That's that's an the interesting club name. I was in. That was the Oh club okay. I was in. Okay, yeah, it's, so, it's not like so, a full name. It's not like Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven or something. Okay. No, so like if you play Water War Crab, you have gills and you would have like a gill under your character's name. That's what a club is like on oh, Star Stable. I, I know you said gills, but I heard gills. <laughs> yes, gills! How have you heard of gills? <laughs> During World of Warcraft, you can breathe underwater. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If I was bad with my name for my membership. It's like Emily <laughs> Nightwolf Basement Club, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say like, 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 like another membership tier called Underwater Alliance or something. Damn, what happened to <laughs> my worry? I look ugly! Every membership tier is just like a further level down or something like that. <laughs> Guys, I graduated <laughs> to the staircase. Yay! <laughs> that should be further up, but yeah, okay, okay, all right then. Staircase Society, basement dark. club, and Staircase Society. Yeah. She's Guys, so I can sleep on the porch now. Yay! <laughs> I, uh, I I need to think of like what to do for membership tiers because otherwise, because like th these names are actually this. Uh, we've got a convention going on now. All right then. There is a lower one. That that's like because I pay four ninety nine five ninety nine whatever I pay. There's a lower one down than that, but I think you need more people to membership you before you can do that. Maybe. How much? Yeah, I forgot. I, <laughs> I forgot exactly what it was. <laughs> I 
<laughs> and I actually forgot like what the memberships actually cost. I probably should be saying that to people to you know incentivize them. So like, oh yeah, it's this much. I know it's like not that much. I don't think. I think it's five pounds. Okay, all right. Five pounds. I think I think I did. I, I did, I did, try, make a, I I did try and make a lower tier as well at one point. Yeah, you did, well, but, Emily. Yeah. And also, you're British, like Jacob, so you should know. I played it for like nearly six months and i don't know how much it is i'm not gonna lie God. oh dear anyways right. i review? saw jacob basher has memberships i brought it i didn't look at the price <laughs> <laughs> take my credit card details how do i take my money <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Well, <laughs> you're going to sit there, much... you're going to take my money, and you're going to like it. It is very much appreciated. Thank you once again. <laughs> and now you have something to, to show for it. <laughs> All right. Uh, at least until the end of February. Maybe I'll start doing, I guess, keep doing some more pre recorded videos or something and just, like, you know, let those be on for a while. I don't know. Literally, my book talk episodes are pre recorded. It's just how much I've read my books. <laughs> Uh, I I suppose. What what? That's what I was gonna ask for my birthday. Your guys' books. Thanks for reminding me. Yes, oh, get best okay. friends. Welcome to Everville Series on episode. Woo! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, definitely not putting that on my Amazon list right now. <laughs> Honestly, when I when, when I saw that when I saw that Misfits was published, I was like, I, exactly what Emily said. It's like you know, take my money. I'm getting this. <laughs> and now I have a, and now I have a rare first edition. <laughs> so yes. I I have no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the newest edition, I promise you, is way ten times times better because I have multiple eyes <laughs> staring down at my right, making sure that it sounds good. Be like, make sure you correct this, make sure you edit that part out. It doesn't make sense. Add more details here. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, in in, in in my case, I, in my case, I wrote mine when I was thirteen to fourteen. So there's there's no salvage, there's no salvaging it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 just gonna it's just gonna have to be its uh its raw form. Like every now and then, I'll like update if they if um if there's any like you know mistakes or something people have found or any corrections need to be made. But yeah, for the most part, it's like yeah, this is just gonna exist in its original in its original horrible form, just like thirteen year old Jacob wanted the whole time. <laughs> Help! I don't know what's the book called. Your book, Jacob. Oh, Erasmus the Elf. This is just like a whole like self plug <laughs> section for us today. Memberships, <laughs> our books. My goodness, I I've got to drop merch soon. That's <laughs> that's what's got to happen. <laughs> yes, merch. <laughs> oh, okay. Who's Valerie West? Oh, that's my aunt. She has like a. I I I I put like a, like an editor credit on for her, and then it also credited her as an as an author. So, yeah, I guess that's uh, how that works. The actual book clarifies it. Anyway, right, now that's, that's added uh, to my birthday wish list. Yay! Woo! All right, let's. All right, let's review something else that KW had a hand in. Without further ado, on with the review. I did press the button, by the way, in case I was wondering. It's just still. <laughs> was that was that meant for like you know so that the thumbnail would be long enough so you could actually select it as like the the choice? Well, I say you. I mean like Al, you know Alexandra, obviously. Probably. <laughs> would, would have done that. You know who? You know who else did that? Oh no. Shorty for taming the bad boy. Ah, hey, you know you were going to say something about taming yeah. the bad boy. Most most of those videos had the thumbnail on for a very long time, so that it would be able to be picked. Because I guess adding the custom thumbnail was too much effort, on top of having a different thumbnail for most episodes, because most episodes actually had the same one over and over again. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it had been two years since it all happened. Oh dang it! I forgot what voice I did for the for the main horse. You keep changing your voices. That's what happened. I think it was something a little bit shaky, like that. I don't know. Something like that, yes. Actually. I had thought it was over. 
I was wrong. <laughs> uh, if I knew anything about marketing and viral success, I should have known my troubles were not yet over. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, it's my rising frame this time. That's what. That's an improvement. Also, I forget if the last video was in four by three or not. I think we've gone into into that, except for the fact that it's it's cropped in the restream because the the footage is four by three, but the but the edited that like that like the cards and all the captions are in sixteen by nine. So I. Uh, I don't. I can't remember what we used to record. I know there was one time she had to use Bandicam, the free version, a few times mm. because one of the original recording softwares wasn't working. So there's that. Okay. Yeah, I don't have an actual answer for uh. <laughs> The, for, for, for this, there could be a number of things, and I would not expect a uh, expect a uh, insert age here year old to figure that out. <laughs> what four by three and sixteen by nine actually mean? Because I didn't find out yep. until way later. Everything was fine. Until the Fire Nation did the thing that it oh my God. Afraid, apparently. No! But then it o but then it obviously wasn't. <laughs> Cause later that day, someone took me away. <laughs> I, it's, it's in red, so I guess it's like more demonic. <laughs> <laughs> And now it's blue, sure. Uh, why not? One of those things you can't ever forget. Da 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 I think I saw a similar shot like this in Birdemic Shock and Terror once. <laughs> like, the opening <laughs> shot is like a, a car driving by for way too long. <laughs> this, this is literally the cliche uh, way of um, shooting to show like a person is coming or whatever, but ca cropping you yourself out because you only have the uh, third person in the game. Uh... <laughs> On my pretty Frisian. Apparently, I left with four and a half months left. Oh, left as in like you know, left the uh the war effort because that's what we were had last time. Because I mentioned it was uh eerily similar plot wise to War Horse, despite the fact that we did the horse novels. That had been, yeah, all the horse movies that have been watched, that was not one of them. I'm not surprised, it's a very dark subject, but it's very Black interesting Stallion, when that kind of thing happens. Black Beauty, Spirit, uh, yeah. I think also it's, like it's, Gen 3 Metal Ponies. It's, 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 kind of, it's, it's, kind, it's kind of like when I was five and I wrote like the ending of the movie Cars a year <laughs> before the movie Cars came out. Oh. It was in fact in fact I did I found I wasn't the I wasn't the writer. I was I dictated that to my mum. She did the writing, I drew the pictures. I was literally the cliche of a psychic child. <laughs> oh my goodness, that makes so much sense now. I had psychic child drawings and now I predict things that happen. <laughs> it all, we learned it, it, Jacob it Lore! Now. We have Jacob Lore! Oh my god! Jacob Lore about his powers, guys! Oh my god. It was just a sign of things to come, yeah. Which I guess is always what happens with psychic children. It's gotta be a sign of things to come. That's how it works. Anyway. Okay, so I had to go back, otherwise Alex would have to pay them back for the work I wouldn't be doing. Which would be a lot counting the years. Well, 
not years, it would be counting the months. You had four and a half months left. She had no choice. Every outcome was terrible. And by every outcome, we mean the one outcome that we have said that would be bad. <laughs> she couldn't have done anything else. Bye, Kenobi. <laughs> 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 but she would come for me. I knew it. She just enlists to try and find the one horse. She just slided. Yeah, our characters like to slide. The game's making a slide to this. Yeah, this, the game's making them slide into position. That's why. Yes. It's like the oh, hitbox. I forgot. I forgot. This is when we got leads. Yes. Oh yeah, because you can finally do that. Yeah. That was an issue in the last video. Yeah. This is gonna like be a long horse. journey back to the war, by the way. By if you're going by foot. Just saying. My horse has some sass. I mean, look the way it's walking. <laughs> <laughs> I may have... I may have had to do another somber walk away, but I looked mighty fine while doing so. <laughs> it's like, it's Emily, you're, this is a great version of Emily. Can I be, you're not going to get this. It's like that. It's it's like that one horse in the three advert that gallops backwards to <laughs> to Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is God. this is like collective British knowledge. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if I can play. Is making me that. laugh. Stop! Stop making me Emily laugh. She's making me laugh. <laughs> okay, well, okay, W, we'll show you that. We'll show you that video after. Um, yeah. Okay. After this. Okay. <laughs> you just put back a flood of like memories or something. Yeah. Oh. Mhm. Mm and I was like, yeah. Yeah. I had a, I harbored a secret hope that Selena Longfoot and her <laughs> horse of no name would eventually glitch out and we'd be free I, from their grasp. I was not uh, so fortunate. My, that region's name is Raspberry Pi. I see. <laughs> I truly <laughs> will, A name that is etched into the ages and the tragedy of my life. Raspberry Pi. <laughs> <laughs> She looks like a raspberry pie! So I thought raspberry pie when I bought the horse! A raspberry pie is meant to be that color. Like that's a, that's like that that's just like burnt raspberry pie, if anything. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Error! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I shall never forget the day that I was uh, at last forced to error, error, error. <laughs> I was just like flying up and down, thinking. <laughs> I was trying to narrate my tragic backstory in my own head. <laughs> and then I glitched out. Okay. Uh... Just putting on like <laughs> reins and off and on again. <laughs> it's happening. Oh, I guess you're free. We both all they have to bring you back and you'll just no no okay, fine, sure. I made the opportunity to ask about Silver, my old friend. And people don't remember in uh, the first one, Silver was a character who appeared for one scene and then never again, kind of as a warning of like how the tragedy of like the work horses would actually go. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess that was that that was that really served their purpose. But here we go. Apparently, she and her owner went missing. People have claimed to see them around, but no one ever did a big search party either. Oh, I remember finding this song. Oh. 
<laughs> I recognize this one. This is going to get copyrighted for sure. <laughs> it starts with one day. What? I, I, <laughs> I, I once lyric prank song with this, with this, 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 this song. Literally, I was. She and I were linking park fans because of the Rollins. And I felt a piano oh. version, and I'm like, oh, this is so emotional. Let's use it. <laughs> <laughs> let's, see, let's see if it works. Oh, wait, we've got to, I can't read the line first. But, oh, no, they did. Sadness overwhelmed me, but if she had been seen, it meant she was okay. At least at the last time she was seen, that's how that works. It must have been like Alex and me, who were also not seen together most of that time. It's a little teardrop in like, the eye. <laughs> <laughs> this really is like Linkin Park. <laughs> <laughs> That's with one day. I don't know why. Doesn't All right, let's hook you up. Why you try? <laughs> Keep that in mind to design this rhyme to explain due time. All I know, time is a valuable thing. What you fly by is the pendulum swing. <laughs> I'm running away. Bye bye. Yeah. Was that? I thought, I thought it was Silverado in the background of that shot. Honestly. It's me too. I'm running. <laughs> You hmm. change colors. Yeah. Uh, it's, um, it's, at least we, we are still learning how to use winter share. All right, it's like it's still new to us. <laughs> you you were fascinated by the idea of color changes, so you're like, what do we use for this? All of them. <laughs> Basically. Hmm. We started off towards Silver Glade Village. Stepping on me because I'm living for it, but like. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I just remember a memory core! Oh! Oh no! I just. Okay. That's it. Okay, so I think this is around the time when Ninja Turtles 2012 just came out. And I had it. Let me check that. Wasn't the, wasn't the original video uploaded in 2016 though? <laughs> yes, I think it was just about to like 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 a new season, I mean, or like Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> I was right. like how old were you? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I I meant like a new season, right? Okay. And so yeah. I I was really getting into like Leo's like lore or whatever during that time or whatever. I also had an OC, like, original character, and the Ninja Turtles 2012. I think it was actually literally Kayla the Wolverine. Like, she's been everywhere. I swear to God. I just used it like for everything. It's like Mira today. <laughs> Basically! Hmm. <laughs> Anyways. So. I had the best character's name. <laughs> so. You had it. Um, I decided to make a parody of this song about Ninja Turtles with Wicked Wolverine and Leonardo. Would you uh, happen to have a copy of this parody somewhere? <laughs> Maybe? I, I I have to find it. Oh, I'll see. Please do. Please do. <laughs> as soon as you said the word parody, I was like, I must hear. Yeah, I think it's because like Cam Wolverine was mad at Leonardo. So I oh wait oh no, I think they actually did it one time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess that does make sense. Doesn't matter how hard you try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard, <laughs> so far. <laughs> <laughs> She oh, portrayed okay. Leonardo at one point. <laughs> oh. I, I I have to run. I, jeez. She but oh wait, she betrayed Leonardo. Oh. Yeah. So she, so she sang a parody about like the breakup that they had, but she betrayed him. Yeah. She was a heretic. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. No, wait, not heretic. Uh, hypocrite. Hypocrite? Is that the right word? Wait. What's Which word is it? I don't know. <laughs> Sort out my man to the food <laughs> clan. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know if she yeah. like betrayed Leonora for a good reason or for no, it was for a good reason. She had to betray Leonora to like save Splinter or something like that. I I don't I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> Let's, all they know I I remember they were dating and then a betrayal happened. They broke up and she thinks Leo's crazy. Mm-hmm. A heretic is a person believing in or practicing religious hearsay. You know, there's you know, something I'm uh, I'm just remembering that I just I just thinking of like after the breakup, like Leonardo has like a has like a you know, like like crying in parents' lap moment with Splinter, <laughs> and it's like there there it is okay. There are p- <laughs> there are plenty of fish in the sewer waters, <laughs> like, <laughs> but I don't know why. Why did she have to sell me out to blah blah blah? It's like oh oh that that is what is going on. Okay, <laughs> listen here, this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Misunderstanding cleared. Oh yeah, I think she sold him out to Shredder to save her whole life. Oh, so not to save Splinter then? Okay, never mind. She is a cold-hearted traitor. You could do so much better. She was a right in the head at that time. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, Steve's farm is so old! I stayed outside of Steve's farm, which is apparently very old, who let me be with other horses. That's what happens in most farms, but we'll digress. He would have put me in the stables if there was enough room. Wait, hold on. So, oh, so this is, so this farm is just overstocked with horses? Why is this- he, Yeah, he's been selling horses. Not clearly, he hasn't been selling enough of them. If he's <laughs> if he's got that many, it's like, oh yes, go go on. This is this is this is a bargain right here. Please take it off my hands, please, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough horses. I can't do this anymore, guys. As soon as I arrived at Steve's farm, I received a warm welcome. Why, Selena, get out of here! <laughs> You keep bringing me horses! Selena, this is the fifth one this week! I can't take <laughs> any more horses! <laughs> look, at the, look at my farm grounds! There is not a single speck of grass that is left! <laughs> what am I supposed to do? How do I clean everything? It's like I'm Jerry sorry. on stables! I don't have Heracles to help me out! I'm sorry, Grandfather! I'm sorry! <laughs> See, you have that reaction, or you have okay, cool. Sounds like a you problem. See you next week. I'll bring you another horse. <laughs> no, that's no what... more horses. Okay. That's what that that that's 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 what she said to like the uh to like the original owner, just like to to Alex. She just like sounds like a you problem. I'll be taking your horse back to the front lines now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he even gave me a carrot. One carrot for my entire stay. Oh, it started edging backwards. Started, it started uh, reversing a bit. <laughs> Can you hear me calling out your name? <laughs> oh, God. I went to three more places before I finally saw Alex again. Why I was moved around so much, despite the fact that I was clearly needed for the war effort, uh, I don't know. I guess the paperwork never went through. <laughs> I mean, we're also finding this song. Hmm. Yeah. It always does seem I... very in sync until it started going. Oh my god, this song! <laughs> I haven't had this in years, bro. I what? I was in a dark phase. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is just reminding me of my My Little Pony phase. Yes! Oh. I was literally in that phase, Emily! <laughs> and that's how oh, I we discovered- know. 
Oh, oh, we know <laughs> KW. That, that oh. phase never finished for you <laughs> until ah. like 2020. <laughs> hey, I did have a human OC in my little pony. That turns out to be evil. You had a human OC in actual ponies. <laughs> yes! Interesting that the piano goes into like it goes into like an increased tempo, but the horse slows down. I was sent to the jumping corral alone. Oh yeah, it was it was canonical that uh, this horse, uh, whose name I've forgotten, hates jumping. I remember that from yes. the first movie. Yes. I felt more lonely than ever. That was the part I always hated about being a workhorse. Being a workhorse yeah, okay. and pulling things around often requires jumping. That's always a part of that, <laughs> that's, that, <laughs> that description. When the owners of stables didn't want me taking up space, like Steve, obviously. Old, old Steve really wanted me to leave. And <laughs> <laughs> they make me go somewhere else all alone. But hey, at least I have grass this time. Oh, look, it's Alex. <laughs> Alex came before I could get more down. I thought, in my head, I, I read that was like more grass down, but I realized that was my joke. That's not what the video is saying. Uh... The video is saying more <laughs> down the dumps, like more depressed. Oh, I think this is also when we have walking animation now, too, because we always run. I just realized that. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were going to say, like, what do you do before? Just, like, shuffle over. <laughs> like, like no. Baldi's basics. No, no, we just <laughs> run, run, run. Da, 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 da. Run, run, run. Da, 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 Hello, everyone. Let's do some math. <laughs> <laughs> the crossover we didn't know we needed. <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> One, two. Oops, you messed up because you're a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure how you're jumping ropes. <laughs> What is what that is five plus one? Bum, 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 bum. That's right, six. Correct. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the square root of a hundred and forty-four? <laughs> anyway. She told me she was working as hard as she could to get enough money to officially own me and pay off my debt as a workhorse. She didn't tell me how she keeps finding me. I think she's chipped me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think that doctor's appointment when I was a fool was not uh, just a checkup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More fool me, if you know what I'm saying. Ah. <laughs> uh. She told me to just hold on. Everything will be fine. Chapter 2. Everything wasn't fine. My legs! <laughs> <laughs> she, she said she even called Cadence, Silver's owner, the one that went missing. They were hiding near Vale Dale. Shmale, pale, grail. Silver was getting worked too hard so they escaped. And she is now doing the same thing as Alex. But Ernie, she doesn't need to do the same thing as Alex, because Alex, the problem Alex has right now is not being able to afford to get the main horse back. Cadence could just, like, I don't know, flee the country or something, honestly. <laughs> oh no, we're getting to the war-torn border! Quick, Silver, jump! One last time! Over the barbed wire! <laughs> And soars up into the sky. Oh my god. Like, it's like it's the end so... of Free Willy with a horse. Oh my... <laughs> Run! Before the wet clan comes after us! Save Silver. That's it. Save Silver. Alexandra the Pandanite, if you watch this and you ever decide to go back to YouTube, I know you left because of personal reasons, if you ever decide to come back, 
please do a movie called Save Silver, inspired by Free Willy, that ends <laughs> with uh, jumping over war torn borders <laughs> <laughs> into safety. <laughs> Best movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> When I come, she left. I could see her soon, knowing everyone and everything was okay. The two people that we vaguely associate with are okay, and therefore everyone and everything is okay. The war still <laughs> going on, but everyone and everything is okay. <laughs> Silver was safe with her owner, and I would be with mine again soon. Unfortunately, the term soon was as vague as a Butterverse creator, and so it took <laughs> years before I saw, before saw Alex once again. <laughs> <laughs> that was a violation! <laughs> Check. Use your words, coming soon. <laughs> well, maybe it's out already, I don't know what order I'm uploading these. I finally felt at peace. Yeah. Till I remembered I was still a workhorse and I, I was no longer at peace anymore. <laughs> but being at peace didn't mean I was okay with being here another minute. Oh, even though there was a concrete plan that, <laughs> that Alex has put into motion that would save me through legal beans, I guess my dumb horse brain kicked in and said, <laughs> oh, I can't leave with my owner immediately. I better escape again. I, oh, that this went is so also well the time. first time. Oh, like, yeah, finally, this is also the time when we can actually finally turn ourselves invisible to ride the horses so we can look like wild horses or whatever. That is true. The shot was, uh, that this shot is far better. I guess the updates did come out like fairly quickly, I suppose. They realized the mistake. Because we demanded not... it. We like, we want this. We want this. Yeah. Pay attention, Luna Mate. This is how you please your fans. Put horses in oh. the game? <laughs> but no, as in, like, you know, listen to their demands that they actually have rather than, oh, let's do, like, <laughs> art competition number three. But yes, <gasps> put horses into gacha. I know that. <laughs> Honestly, put any animals into gacha because the ones that we have are just, like, the pets, and, like, they're only still images. So. You have to like make eldritch abominations in Gotcha Life 2 if you want to have any animal <laughs> resemblance. I would Fluffy never the friend. cat has been permanently etched into my brain thanks to Ghost Girl. Oh my god. <laughs> I would never find the sun for Anna Wolfberg. Hmm? Oh, that's, okay, that's yeah. All that's, that's all I was about to play. The business lady who took me away, of course, had her own horse. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Her name was <laughs> Raspberry. <laughs> she agreed to help me, for she had been a workhorse too. And now she was a business horse. She moved up in the world. Open society. I what it's called? I guess. There, it is also worth me mentioning that the business lady who took me was like three farms ago at this point, and therefore probably is out of her hands, and I don't know how she still knows where I am, uh, and or why her horse came here alone. I think behind the scene was, I think this is a time when I finally unlocked this area. I switched um, home stable, so this is where I was living at. So... Oh, so that's the reason that the farm was different. Okay, that's okay. That's fine, but it doesn't necessarily. I... Fun fuck about me. Every time there's a new place to unlock, I will go there and live there. I mean, that's great and all, but I just mean like narratively speaking, that doesn't. I guess. I guess like in the mind of Alexandra at the time, it's like, oh, okay, KW lives here now. I guess that therefore makes us the new base of operations. I just, I guess, I just won't explain that to anyone. All right. I think the lore is that basically this is where the business lady and her business horse lives, but they like travel to different places. 
if that makes sense. Oh, so all the farms are temporary positioned. It just keeps getting sent back. It's like, we have no room! Stop sending us horses! <laughs> <laughs> Since she was smaller, she worked with her friend that she grew up with as a foal. That's the only reason. Being small means you get to work with childhood friends in summer. Okay. Uh, That's a long-winded way of calling her short. <laughs> her friend died from being taken away for war and getting shot at a battle. Uh, so I guess that means that she's now she's now allowed she's now able to be on her own. I guess is that all right? <laughs> Obviously, your friend dies, and then all of a sudden, freedom, just like that, you know? Yeah. Well, that was a huge like musical drop <laughs> there. It's like that, that was it? not all awesome. done. My friend, my friend died from being taken away and shot. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry to hear that. <laughs> my Just friend's the, dead, the now dubstep. time to girl boss to this music. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the new Skrillex track, My Friend is Dead and Died of <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my friend is dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's it. No it's back, never mind. I love how you can it will keep the name <laughs> above. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are gonna fix that till like years later. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said this was as far as she could take me without getting caught. I thanked her and went on. If I take one more step, Mr. Frodo, it'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. <laughs> You did one more step, suddenly. FBI! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh yes, neighing definitely helps when you're in the danger of being caught area. <laughs> Again, my dumb horse brain. And her dumb horse brain, apparently, <laughs> because she's just signalling again. <laughs> Just because you're like a few steps away does not mean if you don't if you make noise they're not gonna find you. What do you uh, mean? She's still one step from getting caught, you know? She's got that it's like the magical barrier. like it's like the magical threshold of earshot where like a character goes and walks over to one side and no one can hear them anymore. This is the best shot in the whole, uh, the, the, all of the, both of the movies so far, at the very least. Like, it's distant, but it's distant for a reason, unlike the one yeah. from earlier, which was just, let's introduce this character very, very slowly. Global chat activated. <laughs> My global chat activated the moment I stepped in. However, I knew I could not converse with anyone on account of being a known fugitive now. I hate Stuff pops off all the time. Yeah, that's, Hello, the, that, that's the issue with like that's the issue with like you know trying to make content inside of uh, MMOs. And that's probably why you don't see that many like uh, Final Fantasy online series or stuff like that. I mean, RuneScape mm -hmm. was a big back in the day, but even then, that had like areas where you could like be separate and such. Not really so much of a thing anymore. I guess kind of Minecraft took over all of that uh, aspect of the video content. Oh, 
I know where I found this. Okay, so if I remember this correctly, I think. Wait, let me check the release date. Oh, let me check. Also, is this just an extremely long segment of just pure running? Is that? I guess. <clears throat> okay. Never yeah. mind. Okay, so when Skyward Sword first came out on the Wii, the addition that we got was um it had it was the 25th anniversary right and so we got this like cool disc or whatever has all like the 25th anniversary like music that they did or whatever for the anniversary of legend zelda so i would transport all that stuff to um the computer or whatever so i think this is either the 25th anniversary song they did or is this someone who just generally remixed it or whatever that I found and decided to download yeah. it. Yeah, the re the remix 25th anniversary, once again, brought to you by Skrillex. You can tell we're cameras by using gaming music. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's some will work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's also a game song, so why? <laughs> oh no! Quick, you've been discovered. Run away! Imagine if that just like pops up every time someone like enters a new area, and it also and it also like has like a sound or something. It's like you are now at Dolphin Tail, <laughs> Tail Valley. It's like no, no, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I don't want to be found. Now arriving at Golden Hill Valley. Mm. Please to mind the gap at your next stop. Please don't kill, kill. Mind the gap. I am on the run right now. I just... <laughs> 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 I can't, I this can't make that dash from a horse, at, but still. This run stops at Golden Tail Field. Um, <laughs> I don't know, names help us. Go to Hills Valley. It was Go to Hills Valley yeah. that they were in. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to list, like, other stops, though. You know, like a train. The train lady. Yeah. Train lady. Go to Lee Stables. Mm -hmm. of now arriving at Golden Hill Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Hill. Change here for Silicon Meadows. <laughs> <laughs> if you see any issues, please report it to us. See it, say it, sort it. <laughs> I'm getting very British by references today. I see it. I stayed there for three weeks and two days. I then knew I had to go back so Alex could find me. But you stayed <clears> in that exact for... spot for two weeks, three weeks. Yes. I can read. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I concocted a whole escape plan just on the inspiration of not wanting to be in that one spot anymore, only to realize three weeks and two days later that I had <laughs> to go back to that exact location so that Alex could find me with no guarantee that Alex would have enough money at this point to, to, to complete her promise, which means I would have to stay there for a long time again or escape for a second time. Also, with no guarantee that the horse or Alex would get penalized for running away and being missing for three weeks yeah, like and the, two days. Like the debt would like increase or something? Yeah, probably, actually. You have to pay like the fines on top of the on top of the existing debt. Yeah, it just all adds up. <laughs> like I said, I'm a really dumb horse. <laughs> South Three Acres. <laughs> Just like takes wow. the voice box like you are no
I knew where they were. Mostly because I just came from there, <laughs> right before. I just had to turn back the way I came. Anyway, the roots were stuck in my brain. I had to make it to your Vic's table. <laughs> Little did I know that Stein still worked there. Why would he not? Did <laughs> nothing happened to him last time? Of course, he still worked. Uh. Now, Ryan, uh, <laughs> Get that horse. Barrow. Translation: <laughs> I've made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that one, you know that that one uh, scene from like the Aftermath D and D videos where Zane is like, "They'll never take me alive." <laughs> Stupid dice roll, like they'll take me alive. Like a second later, he's <laughs> in prison. They'll never take me alive. They alive. <laughs> I spent my day singing Lincoln Park covers in the stage. <laughs> and Raspberry came back just to just to look at me in the eye and say, "Look what you've done, you idiot! I put myself at risk, and this is your repayment. I'm not helping you again." <laughs> Raspberry's the real victim here. <laughs> Justice for Raspberry. Yes. <laughs> yes! Also, she almost kicked Stein in the face with that last shot. That's also appreciated. I <laughs> just slipped! <laughs> just not even acknowledging the fact that there's like. <laughs> anyway. So there are these uh, daily quests that you have, you can do where you basically take do like chores like picking up horse dung and giving them water in my head. So that person was doing a task that Alexander Penn and I already did. So what it looks like they're doing nothing. They're just scooping up air. Okay. <laughs> she was going to let me free, of course. Uh, but because again, she's very forgiving. Just so I could move freely around the stable, not run away. I had an ankle brace at this point. I know I'm a flight threat, but definitely let me out. I won't run away again. I promise. <laughs> that is literally a scene from Cars. Not the one I predicted, but it's it's a scene from Cars. <laughs> <laughs> She vaguely kicked the walls. I was therefore able to use the completely open, wide entrance instead. Stein! Stein. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, right, sorry, yeah, go ahead. I didn't rest the actual dialogue. Stein arranged for you to be put into sleep tomorrow, but one person... 2,500 star coins does pay off. That's trading in 5,000 Yorvik shillings. Someone must really love you. And there you go. You, you as, When you said you had one line in this, I was like, oh, well, okay. But then I realized, like, no one else has any other lines. This one horse takes up everyone's speech time. It's not grammar, by the way. But one person's 2,500 star coins does pay off. Yeah, it's just missing an apostrophe. Yeah. <laughs> After person. That someone was Alex, to the surprise of literally no one. No, it was me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, can you imagine if, if like... <laughs> This is the cheesiest ending, but but like you know, the horse is just uh, 
you know, sobbing at the stables while like this is storms going on. It's like I tried so hard <laughs> and not so far. And then like you just like hear from like off screen. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> How <laughs> to fall to lose it all. like single tear again. <laughs> Aren't you sorry you didn't meet me years ago, KW? <laughs> Chickens, you know the screaming ones that you like push down on. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say like Michael Jackson actually, but yeah, that works too. <laughs> I think it might be the most I've ever made KW laugh ever. <laughs> I'm literally crying. <laughs> Just so clear. <laughs> you know, it'd, it'd, be, it'd be worth getting a copyright strike just so that one joke comes to life. <laughs> I want to keep talking, but I'm afraid if I do, I'm just going to make it worse. <laughs> oh, my tummy hurts! No! <laughs> you tried so hard and you got so far, but in the end, you still got copyright strikes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it starts with one strike. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. I'm fine. Okay. We're I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> good. All right. I didn't want to do like anything. Yet. <sighs> yeah. We'll just play the video. <laughs> she gave me zero explanation. Just put a saddle on me. It was like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> she gave me a welcome back gift: a yellow bow. As a horse, I have no use for such items, and it fell off instantly while we travelled. Uh, <laughs> nice gesture. Where the yellow bow is is anyone's guess, but she gave it to me. I on on the horse's happened. tail. It's on oh, the horse's okay. tail. Oh yeah. Hey, there it is. I was home Ooh. again. But we're now broke because of my actions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Wolf dance. I keep forgetting the name of the, the horse, the main character. Yeah. Selena Longfoot. Yeah! Oh, so that that was... that. So you see Longfoot was just like your whole pseudonym. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. This is this is before you started like doing character names, so of course it was like your actual user. Okay, yeah. Yes. Alexandra Pen Pandanite, me as herself, myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. No, you're amazing. amazing. No, you are. <sighs> <laughs> no, you all are, except me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, okay. Wow, that was uh, that was a treat. That was a treat. <laughs> you know, I, I I realized halfway through that that I, I I think I said something similar last time, but when you're like that young and you're trying to make stuff and you you know you like autocomplete certain things, I guess you probably also internalize uh that that like movies and TV shows and stuff mm -hmm. all have that uh, they have similar scenes. You know, you have like an escape scene that could happen. You have, you know, you you have like the interaction with the conflict before that happens. You have, you have like heroes and villains and everything, but not necessarily 
but you don't necessarily process like why those things are there in the moments. Like you see, like you watch a movie when you're younger and maybe you're like, oh, okay, so I'm getting like some of this, but you know, oh, well, now there's a chase scene. So I guess they got to get away. There's some argument happening. You kind of like fill in a little bit, but I guess when it comes to writing that, that means that you're just like, okay, I'm just going to put a chase scene in now because that's how we're going to do this scene or this character escapes. Oh, mm. they, they decide to come back and it's not as bad as before but wait they said they're going to go back to where they can be found they go to a different set of stables instead <laughs> it's like okay okay sure why not to all those things well i mean the the me hooked up the horse to big work and then they've been traveling to like three different stables and stuff like that i think that's the part that you miss i guess i don't know well I've, i remember the three stables part because that's the reason All I right. thought that Alex was going to have a really hard time finding Wolf Dancer. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. So, so, so I, I guess that that's like that idea uh, sort of explains a lot. Um, is this uh, better than the first one? Because like I know that Josh is going to ask me when this eventually goes uh, goes live. Is this uh, is the sequel better than the original? Uh, I don't really know because the sequel. The issue is that it was very clearly you know like you're like like a like a movie uh, decision where it's like movie studio where they're like oh this mm -hmm. this thing that we made is like a self contained thing th this it made a lot of money therefore is going to be a sequel. It's like this like this is the Matrix Revolutions of the Alexander mm -hmm. Pandemite channel. For me, I um. Maybe I'm just a little bit, but uh, I don't know. For me, for a story wise, I think the sequel is kind of a little bit better than the first one, just because I feel like they got better camera angles, and I feel yeah. like the dialogue is a bit better, and like the story pacing was a bit better as well. Whereas I was just like traveling to place to place to place, it says like, oh, we've been to these places, and now this is where I am right now, instead of going, oh, we go to this place, and then we went to this place, and then we went to this place. It's a, it kind of like shortened it. Uh, yeah, I guess the original reason that might have been done is because it was if this was made for uh, Star Stable Online users, they would have known about all these different places. They can like have an idea in their minds, like, oh, that's the journey that they went on. Yeah, but like this time, it's like shortened it, and I, I really like that. And I feel like also like there the music is. A little bit better. There are some music choices that I uh, think they could have chose better, but I feel like there is not really much of like um, music errors or anything like that. It, it feels. Yeah, my only music error in this case would be the dubstep after hearing a friend died. That's the only thing. <laughs> Other than uh, that, the music, while well, goofy, was da, appropriately da, da, chosen. Da, 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 da. Breathing the chemicals. <laughs> 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 my friend, she was shot into battle. Oh, hang on, that's the. Oh, wait, the banger backing tracks on. <laughs> 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 I'm breaking up. There's a song in my head. I'll sing it because your friend is dead. <laughs> 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 I I think I also made a parody to that song at one point. That is fair. I I considered it back in the day. I did. I just like I, I think, I think like I, the, what is it? I think parody? I had it on my list of like, oh, this would be good a good idea for a parody that I just never kept with an idea for the parody itself. I think I came up with "Welcome to the Dark Age." Welcome to the Dark Age. <laughs> I mean, that that's that's something, I suppose. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. it was just welcome to the dark because I think I wanted to do some like dark ages stuff. I don't know. I was a dark child. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, what you mean? <laughs> oh, so you don't mean like the historical dark ages? Because I was, I was thinking in my head like how, <laughs> it's like how would that go? It's like <laughs> the feudal. Wait, we live in a feudalist society with scientists burned for heresy. <laughs> Welcome to the Dark Age. <laughs> to the Dark Age. Welcome to the... <laughs> I think, all, honestly, that's where my head went, or at least similar. Uh, 
I uh, yeah. like you wish to improve, I say bon chance. We won't advance till the Renaissance. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sure. I don't. I I think it, I was into like dystopians at that time. Like I haven't read the Hunter Games yet, but like I was like really wanting to get into that stuff. So oh, that would have been that would have been perfect. Welcome to the Hunger Games. To the Hunger Games. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my god! Now I want to do it for Hunger Games. <laughs> 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 Okay, <laughs> right then. I will write the lyrics as soon as I probably use it, gentlemen. Okay, fair enough then. <laughs> I'll leave that one to you. I've got my next parody in mind. I know what I'm going to do for it. Oh, God. <laughs> what was um, that, Emily? I don't know. <laughs> Are you trying to be a snake? <laughs> You know? I feel like we've lost our minds. Uh, <laughs> ultimately, ultimately a good video story is still absolutely insane, but maybe not quite as absolutely insane as the first time. So yeah, the sequel is uh, a little bit better, but definitely Matrix Revolution Z. 7.5 out of 10 for me. <laughs> That, uh, uh, okay, I don't. I still don't tend to give grades, but uh, I'll go with that, I suppose. Uh, okay. Check out the rest of the video. Yes, that's true. Yeah, video, which video will be in the description uh, whenever I actually make a thumbnail and such to all this, because as I'm not used to. I always make the thumbnail before the video starts. I'm not used to doing it this way. Ah, but okay. We'll, we'll work it out. Uh, but yeah, for now, please like to search your best videos already. Bye -bye! Check out those memberships for all of those uh, pre-recorded videos I mentioned earlier, whichever ones are left. Join the basement club! Exactly. <laughs> and, on, again. and on that note, until next time, Did farewell. <laughs>